Greatest Adventure, my greatest adventure featuring the Doom Patrol, Patrol by DC Comics. You're too late, Automaton. Then another second, your ally, Negative Man, will be totally destroyed, unable to return to his human body. Human body. Reborn out of disaster, four survivors rose again to form a legion of the world's strangest heroes. A full-length comic thrill you'll never forget. You are about to experience one of the strangest meetings ever conceived. Uh, a joining of the four most unusual people on earth. Sit quietly in the shadows of the clandestine conference and observe it well. For from it shall soon be born the Doom Patrol. In the subtractor of a stately building in a bustling city, you three are victims of a cruel and fantastic fate. I summon you here to give, give you the opportunity to cheat that fate by offering you the chance to experience adventures more incredible than any humans have ever known. What do you mean? I, I should never have come here. Neither should I. Who are you? My name is unimportant. You know nothing of me, but I know all about, about each of you. I know you have be all become quite quitters, Luke outcast. What would you know about the terrible things I we have experienced? I, I'm leaving. Sit down. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You aren't the only ones to have whom life dealt a harsh hand blow. A wheelchair? You see, I too have a handicap, but I conquered it with my brain by mastering every field of knowledge. In these rooms, I go on my own adventures, adventures with my mind. But uh, there are adventures in which uh, I'm unable participate. to participate. Catastrophes to be checked. Evil to be fought. People to be helped. That's why I need you. No, my adventuring days are over. Count me out. I've had it. This is uh, upsetting me. I want to leave. But as a spotlight pinpoints one of the figures, 
Turn off that light, please. Read afar, wait, and listen to me. Behind that beautiful face, you are different from other girls. For inside, you are a mask by disaster, marked by disaster. Do not question me how I know these things, but it happened when you made that movie in Africa after you insisted on you do on performing your own dangerous stunt work. Rita, this is the scene in which you're chased by a crocodile. But be careful, don't worry, Mitch. I didn't win a swimming gold medal at the Olympics for doing the dog pedal. Yes, it was the real thing, including the giant. Genuine crocodiles, delicious no, no tourists in residence along that river. Here comes one. Hope those boys keep it in their rifle sights. Sights. You waited, wanted realism in your pictures. But this time, things suddenly became too real, Rita, for, for good heavens, I've been caught in a, a stray, strong current and am being carried beyond the gunner range, range, and gaining on and that big lizard is gaining on me. There was only one way to shake that beast. The falls. I forgot to shoot over the falls. The croc wouldn't, won't follow me. Won't follow me. Sure enough, the powerful croc Rock and swerve, swerved off, but you, Rita, went over like a helpless leaf. Your nimble body plus your aquatic skills skill enabled you to survive that that incredible plunge. Plunge. I I'm alive. Ugh. Gas vapors from these odd holes choking me. Must crawl away from here. You dragged yourself from that weird torrent and uh, collapsed from exhaustion until the search party found you. It's Rita, she's in bad shape. Radio for the ambulance. Plane for Norabi. Nor Rita, she's becoming a giant. Look out. Help me. Help me. Somebody please help me. For four days you lay stricken with an illness. No doctor could diagnose, but after a while you recognize Covered, we're ready to shoot our 
Next is seen, so where's Rita? For the love of Mike, look. Chomp, chomp. Rita, she's become a giant. Help me, help me. Me, somebody, please help me. Then I said the astonished, astonished, astonished movie crew recoiled before the approach of your mammoth form. Look what's happening to her. Now she's drinking. Rita, what's come over you? Can you tell us, Rita? The amazing phenomenon continued until I, I can't believe it. What, what can be the explanation for all this? The a native witch doctor supplied the answer. Those, uh, the ground chemical vapors. You breathe on the bank of the falls were the cause of your, your increased credible expansion and reduction. Reduction. It all, it's all true, as you said. I couldn't control this terrible power. Uh, it happened as anywhere, anytime. So you gave up your career, hid from the world out of shame and fear. But now, Rita, you have the, the, to learn to control the, that strange power. Now you can end your self-exile. Self-exile. You know everything, don't you? But uh, you don't know if we want to face the public again. I know all about you too, Larry Trainer. I know how and why you became an outsider. A strange one. A strange one. Disaster struck you as you tested the K twenty five to K two F, the experimental rocket plane that flew higher than any any manned aircraft hell had ever gone Go gyro controls jammed can't uh, gyro controls jammed jammed can't uh, adjust the gil glide angle i'm going beyond the maximum altitude into suborbit you lost the ground control contact, blacked out for hours. Your jet skinned through the still, still uncharted wave belt of inner space until it suddenly began to nose dive. Dive it down, nose downward, downward. You revived in time to crash land the K two F on a dry lake band as a crow. Climbed out seemingly unharmed. 
It's a plane from the base to pick me up. Good grief. Only one wheel's down. The plane doesn't know it. He'll crash up. Up. But as you, you watched helplessly, an extraordinary thing occurred. A strange duplicate emerging from my body. Body. Deprived of your strength, you could only look on in a kind of amazed stopper. It's uh, pulling out the other wheel down. He's going to land okay. I can only speculate, Larry. That uh, on a no. non wave, or wave brand belts uh, bombardment bombarding your, your body floating in space with uh, out uh, air adequate the quit protection or what. Uh, Created the bizarre being that negative man. Negative man. Negative man, perhaps. But what we, you don't realize is that while negative man functions, I'm barely conscious, and if he doesn't. Return within 16 seconds, I die. How'd you like to live with that? But uh, you can control negative men with your, your will, Larry, and use his great powers for good. Instead of retreating from life as you've done, I won't do it. I won't. And nothing on earth will make me change my mind. My mind. My mind. I suppose it's my turn now, but I'll save you the trouble of revelating my story. I'll tell it myself, my way. God of heavens, he's not human, he's a, a robot. I was human once. You may remember Cliff Steele, a daredevil in... Search of excitement and uh, and uh, danger, danger. Danger. It uh, happened uh, at uh, a European track while I was rerounding a killer curve in my own. Uh, Souped up special. I came to in a hospital room fighting death. Brains of body, body beyond repair. It's uh, hopeless. He is not damaged. He is not damaged, but his brain's body. Beyond repair, body is beyond repair, body, brain's body is beyond repair. Uh, dimly, through a cloud of amnesia, 
I remember a man, a very short man, departing, departing on me an eternity later as I opened my eyes. Metal hands, they, they're my hands. That a genius who had saved my life had performed the impossible, the incredible. I'm a robot man, except for my human brain that was transplanted that alone remains of Cliff Steel. Still, that alone is human. Human. I sure am. My robot body was uh, perfect, and I could uh, perform all my former feats even better than before. Compete with that mechanical cheat character? What a chance have we got against him? Or should I say it? Should we? You're right. Either he pulls out or we go do. And you're going to tell me I've got no reason to be bad. Bitter, no reason to feel I'm an outcast, but you forget in yourself pity how unique you are. You're invulnerable to most dangers, unbelievably strong, and your living brain still thrills to your to your five senses. How do you know what it's like being trapped inside this metal body? How do you know anything about me at all? I know, Cliff, because I was that surgeon. I guess that greets the in announcement. Incredible. It, it must be him. He operated from his wheelchair. That's why he seems short. Short. Now with a silent born of a new respect, they follow their amazing host along a corridor. My headquarters contains almost all the world's knowledge and every technique of operation, every means of communication and scientific analysis. Analysis. This is the nerve here. I can instantly be in Earth, be in contact with any place on Earth when a disaster strikes. Obviously, I cannot go to those areas, but you three can, and use your unique powers. I would remain here, guiding you as your leader. You're an amazing guy, and this setup is impressive, but could you help us from a great distance? It doesn't sound seem likely. Just then, Anna. 
an electric humming fills the room. Quiet, please. This special TV is automatically activated at the words of flash bulletin. Bulletin. A time bomb on the North Street Pier may go off at any moment. Police are beginning to evacuate the entire area. Now we take you to the harbor where our camera unit is hovering above the danger spot in a helicopter. Copter. Copter. The bomb is hidden in one of these crates, but the detectors have failed to locate the deadly missile. Larry, this is a job for your other half negative man. Only he can can reach the docks and locate the bomb in time with this this new type of detector I invented. Will you help me in this emergency? I why sure sure sure. Grasping to the instrument, grasping the instrument, Larry contracts all his willpower. That weird figure is splitting from his body, and he is collapsing. An in instant later, the negative form. Form has vanished as Larry lies inert. He's got just 16 seconds to find it and return if he's a mere second late getting, getting back. Larry will die. So will hundreds of others if he doesn't locate that that's a TNT. TNT. The trio eyes the giant screen. Tensely, he's reached the dock and has begun to search with your gadget. Will he be in time? Time. 10 seconds. 11 seconds. Abruptly, he found it. Six, twenty-one seconds, twenty-two. Twenty-two. And as the clock ticks off, twenty-one seconds, he's back and returning to Larry's body. A magnificent job. Now I've... Got to do mine. Give me the bomb. Me the bomb. Anything wrong? It's a new type of plastic explosive with a special with a special timer inside. Deactivating it by normal methods. Would to set it off, Rita. I must uh, ask you to volunteer now. Now. Only you and your reduced size can uh, get, uh, get uh, inside uh, that thing and uh, render it uh, harmless. Will you do it 
I'm on my way. Am I small enough? Perfect, Rita. Now, when you get inside, you will see two intersecting channels. Channels. Take the left one. Left one. I, uh, I'd better hold it in against my metal body to smother the blast in case. Rita, can you hear me there? In there? Yeah, yes. I hear you. I found the left channel. Now, hmm, careful, you'll see a smaller gear will hmm, do you see it rita see yes i see it there is a, a small lever hmm, meshing into the gear wheel so pull it away from the wheel hmm, but gently gently Moments I grind by. Hmm. Each one in eternity. I've got it. I'm loosening it. It's coming off. She did. Then she did it. Who? Good girl. Plastic. Ev hmm. Every bit of it. That's why the police couldn't locate it. Their detectors only work on metal. 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 As the daring girl was Resumes her normal size. Now, nice going. If it weren't for you, a lot of people wouldn't be alive now. But you helped too, Larry. Or rather, your other half self negative and did. Did. Don't uh, forget Cliff, he who was ready to destroy himself by muffling the bomb. But you, you were most important, you're the brain, all right. Brain, all right. Do you see what this means? The experience has given me hope for the first time. The same goes for you too. Why can't you continue? Can, can't you continue? Well, boys, what do you say? Are we a team dedicated to the adventure? Anywhere, anytime. At uh, that moment, a unique band is born. Count me in. Me too. I'm feeling... My... Sorry. I'm through feeling sorry for myself. So am I. We're your team. Now the greatest test awaits us. Our first official mission only by its success or failure will we know if a four outcast of the world can still find a place in it.